The marketplace is huge, Stuart. 60,000 gas boilers to be replaced by 2025. Hey everybody, it's Stuart Smith from smallcapvoice.com and I'm really excited that you joined us once again for our online business briefing where we shine a spotlight on some of the smartest and freshest plays because one of our clients that we've had throughout the year 2024 just for just released some really good news and I want you to find it using this dateline Tuesday. August 20th, 2024, here's the headline. Dow Rata Financial Corporation finalizes exclusive master distribution agreement with Applied Technologies of New York. Now we're gonna be referring to Applied Technologies as ATI as we introduce our guest today. And that's Brian Bonner. Brian, welcome back to the show. Thanks for making time for us. Good afternoon, how are you sir? Good to see you again. I am doing very well, and I just appreciate the flexibility in your schedule because this this press release instantly got attention. Social media emails to us uh, about the company, wanting to know, hey, what does this really mean for the company? So let's hear it from you. Uh, let's talk about this new relationship with ATI. There's some great numbers in here. There's a subheadline: new agreement secures exclusive distribution of Dalrada's heat pump technologies, targeting sales of 600 heat pumps while expanding the company's product and services footprint. So let's talk about it from you. Why is this agreement important for Del Rada and its shareholders? Well, I think it's important to note that the volumes mentioned in the shareholder and the announcement today are minimum commitments that ATI have got to meet to maintain the exclusive uh, representation and the geography we've assigned them. The reason we picked ATI is they're a fantastic company. They've been around for a very long time. They have an incredible reputation. And more importantly, I get on extremely well with their CEO and founder, who is a credible individual and uh, is a pretty straight talker. And that's right up my street. Yeah, it definitely is. We've learned that in our interviews with you, and we appreciate it so much about you. And so that really was one of the questions was, why was it chosen to be an exclusive agreement? But the other question you just answered, which is, hey, these numbers are the minimum numbers that you're shooting for. It could go much higher than what was released in the press release. Obviously, a good path for a public company to be conservative. But the relationship then probably being exclusive, why is that? Well, I mean, Joe uh, indicated to me that he would be happy to introduce me to a number of his fellow associates in different geographies across the country, all similar to him, all been in the industry a long time, all desperately needing a heat pump solution to replace the gas boiler solutions they have today. And therefore, it gave me the strength to give him that exclusivity. It gives us focus it gives him the ability to be sure that we're not going to go around him and cut him uh, out in the process. And he can support people like him who maybe don't have the wherewithal to be a stocking distributor. So he can have stock in the geography ready to ship to the fellow customers that he knows and has same marketplace. The marketplace is huge, Stuart. 60,000 gas boilers to be replaced by 2025 a year. I would love to be able to find one guy that could do that, but it's not possible. So we need a network of companies like ATI that have relationships with end user clients that trust them and like them. So Joe can supply these people with the products they need and the technical support in that geography, in that time zone. And that's why we picked ATI. Well, speaking of what they can do for you, and you just outlined what a symbiotic and synergistic relationship this will be, ATI is already bringing people to the table. As you and I were discussing before we started recording today, you have recently submitted a design and bid to a significant New York City customer through ATI for simultaneous domestic water and cooling, uh, allowing you kind of allowing them the highest possible efficiency, but allowing you to expand your footprint even more. Can you tell us a little bit about this bid that you've submitted? I'd love to tell you who it's worth, but I'll leave it to say they're substantial. And again, that's one of the reasons we chose ATI. And we've not just submitted one bid for one client. I believe there's four other significant opportunities out there that ATI has brought to us that we have we have submitted the bid to each of them. I hope we get all of them, but who knows? Maybe we'll only get one. One will do to make sure we get the experience required to do these major installs flawlessly and correctly. But I'll take all four if I get them. 
Well, it sounds like it's fair to say, and this was a quote from one of the shareholders, this feels like a really strong stepping stone. Another uh, analogy put to our feet was this is a strong foothold for the company. I mean, is that how you see this agreement? Absolutely. And I think shareholders are needing to see results, not anticipated results. We're going to see these results in the September quarter. We're continuing to see more results in the December quarter. And into next calendar year, in the last two fiscal quarters of our fiscal year, we're going to see significant numbers shown and reported in our financials through until June 30th. I'm glad you brought that up, Brian. So we've spoken to Dan Riley, CEO of Genefic, another division there at Dalrida Financial Corporation. But speaking specifically to heat pumps, the revenues that they can generate for your company, uh, you mentioned September, you mentioned December. What, I don't know if I'm even asking percentage, but you know, for those who don't understand this heat pump market, what can it mean for your company? We can see within this fiscal year ending June 30th of this year, or next year, we, we anticipate seeing approximately the same volume revenues as we are currently seeing as a run rate for genetic today. So we see the genetic revenues being matched by heat pump revenues by June 30th of next year. Wow. Now, if we put in that perspective, if you go back and look at the quarterly filings that the company has released, you can see that until now, Genefic has been bringing in the lion's share of the revenue. For you to match that would be an incredible boon for not only you as a company, but obviously the shareholders and investors and potential investors who are listening to us now. So, Brian, finally, there was a shipment that went out the first week of July. Any update on that? What was that shipment and where does it stand today? It was a shipment containing approximately 86 heat pumps, um, and they, that shipment should arrive and clear customs in the UK, hopefully next week. If it clears customs, we anticipate the sales of these units occurring in the September uh, quarter end. Well, once again, we're speaking with Brian Bonner. He is the CEO at Dalrada Financial Corporation, that ticker symbol DFCO, traded on the OTCQB. Really a powerful quote in the press release that we've been talking today out on the dateline, August 20th. Growing our sales network with the help of an esteemed organization like ATI, ATI will allow us to provide millions of customers with direct access to heat pumps. Now, these are heat pumps, as Brian's pointed out that are going to be required by 2025. We recently spoke with Charles Vest, who is the sales manager, who also was in New York City. There's a lot to be done just on the Northeast, but let's not forget that this is an international company. And Brian, before I let you go, I know you're about to get on a plane again to Europe. Where are you headed? What's going on there? I'm over to Spain. I'm getting to Madrid. And hopefully I can close a major contract with a company that supports uh, residential care homes throughout Spain. And that should be a substantial opportunity if I can get them to get their pen and put it on the paper. Well, very good. We look forward to doing a check-in with you while you're over there. I'll foreshadow that right now if we're able to track you down. Brian, as always, thank you. And congratulations on the great news for your company here today. Thank you for your time. All right, for Brian Bonner, this is Stuart Smith saying, hey, make sure to get social with this company. They do a great job of trying to communicate with you, the shareholder. There's a lot of different conduits to the company, whether that's Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, you could just use old fashioned email as well to reach out to the company. I wanna take implore you to add them to your watch list to watch this company go a real ground floor opportunity in this expansive heat pump market that will be overtaking the United States as it already has the rest of the world. For Brian Bonner, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for tuning in.